Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is v &A Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So as you can tell by the title today, I'm gonna to be doing a full face of Physicians Formula. There are a lot of products that I'll be trying out in this video. There's also some new products that I've already tried out and then some old favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so if I look like I'm sick or something or I sound like it or I have a lot of redness on my eyes, uh, my allergies are kicking my butt right now. It's just allergies, I'm fine. I might just not look fine, but we'll be looking fine with makeup on. And I can tell that my voice is a little bit different, so I apologize for that. Let's get started. I have so many products to talk about. Um, I'm first going to just say that I um, could not find any brow products in store, and so I assumed that they didn't have any brow products. And then I looked on the website and they do have two brow products. So the only, only thing that I don't have for you guys today are brow products. That's why they are already done, but everything else I do have Physicians Formula. So I really quickly wanted to tell you guys their diamond lip plumper the reason why I'm showing you guys this right now is because I uh, I actually got this out of my purse I like wearing this on its own with like uh, a natural look it just to give my lips a little bit of a plump and a little bit of a tint I do have other lip products to show you guys at the end of the video so I just wanted to show you guys like what this looked like on my bare lips because it's really pretty I'm gonna go in with a light hand I just want to add a little bit of tint to my lips while I do my makeup and by the way, it does smell a little bit minty and see how pretty that is? So it's like a pinky toned lip plumper and it's very minty. I figured why not have a little bit of a tint and a glow while I do the rest of my makeup. So since I actually haven't tried uh, their eyeshadows, I think today I'm gonna start out with eyes just in case we do have some fallout. So today we're gonna be trying out the Butter Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Tropical Days. So this is what the shadows look like and they do have a little sponge applicator. I might keep it pretty neutral but make it super smoky, I don't know. Um, I do actually like these sponge applicators. These are pretty good for shimmers. Uh, I definitely wouldn't use this for like mattes but for shimmers these are actually pretty good. So I'm quickly going to add some concealer and setting powder to my eyes and I'll zoom you guys in and we can do an eyeshadow look and test out these shadows. So I'm actually going to set my concealer with this shade right here instead of using translucent powder just so that we can use more shadows. This is a matte shade. Right off the bat I can tell that they're very powdery but they feel pretty smooth. Okay, so for my transition, I'm gonna use this shade called Sand Dunes. And I'm just going to put that all over my crease. I think I wanna do, huh, I think I'm gonna do like a matte smoky eye just because I am wearing a pretty bright blue shirt. Grab this shade, which is called Coco Loco. And I'm going to put that under the crease and blend it down instead of up. These shades are very pigmented. And at first they look scary, but they're actually blending out very easily. So I'm gonna bring that all the way down now that I think about it, because I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that shimmery brown shade on top. Okay, now that we're pretty blended, I think I'm gonna go into this like orangey shade called Heat Wave. And I'm going to literally just slightly like tap, tap, and just add that on there just to warm it up even more. I do think that a burnt orange with a blue like this look really pretty, so I'm gonna lightly, lightly add that in because again, these are very, very pigmented, which so far I'm really enjoying the shadows. And I don't know if this is gonna make a difference or not, but just for fun, I'm gonna grab this like slightly shimmery, taupey brown shade called Tan Lines, and I'll just use the applicator it came with. I don't want it to be like super blingy. I just wanna see if it adds like a little bit of something, something. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a very toned down shimmery shade. It looks pretty. It adds a little bit of dimension on the lid. Then I'm gonna take this pale like cream shade. It's a matte shade. It is what I use to set my concealer with and I'm just going to highlight under my brows, this actually helps kind of clean up the shadow as well, which I really like. I don't know if you guys can see all this like white or cream shadow. It's actually this one. It, a lot of it came off when I was dipping this brush to set my concealer. So it is a little bit powdery, but it's actually really pigmented and blending out really nicely. Wow, I don't even have fallout on my face. 
like I don't have anything to clean off and we use some dark shades. So pretty impressed with that. I actually, I don't know. Um, it's not that I didn't have like high expectations with these, but I just don't really see anybody talking about them. And uh, this is actually really pretty and it worked really, really well. So we'll see what we do when we come back. But so far I'm actually very, very impressed with the matte shades. Okay, so the next product I have already tried and this is gonna be a little bit controversial because um, everybody talks about this eye booster two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. It's a brush tip eyeliner. When I tried it, I didn't really like it and a lot of people told me to get the waterproof formula and you know what, I didn't. I haven't gotten it. I can't talk for the waterproof one, but the one that isn't, it's just not like that black or pigmented. It definitely gives more of a faded look. And this is pretty pricey for a drugstore eyeliner. I think I'm just gonna do a thin line. I'm not gonna do any wing liner because I'm gonna try to get away with just mascara today, but if not, we, we can pop on some lashes. That went on really easily. By the way, I don't dislike this eyeliner. I actually like it. I just think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is. I do think you can get cheaper alternatives that work just as good or better at the drugstore. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. I don't know if I like this mascara very much. This is actually brand new from them. By the way, if you guys want a more detailed review on the brand new like Muramuru Butter collection, I did do that video. Some of the products are gonna be in this video, but not for everything. So if you guys are interested in this, I can link it up here. But today we'll be using the Butter Blowout Mascara. When I filmed that video, it just wasn't my favorite. This is what it looks like. This is a little brush. I will say, it's not a bad mascara. It does give a really pretty, like, wispy blowout effect. It, the only reason why it's not my go-to is just because it's not, like, intense enough for me. It's definitely more of, like, an everyday, natural-looking mascara. So if you're into that, then you might like this. But for me, uh, I really like getting a lot of volume and length for my mascara. Let's see, here's... Um, one layer. Uh, if you guys watch my videos often, you know that I can usually get my lashes to look pretty, pretty long and voluminous. And with this mascara, they look pretty. I just feel like they do fall a little bit short, literally. So I'm gonna do two coats on each eye and then we can move on to the primer. So I just spent like a good five minutes applying three coats of mascara on my lashes. As you guys can see, they look cute. It's just, this is just not my go-to mascara. But don't worry, there are a lot of products in this video that are freaking amazing. So, um, I wanted to try out this little mist because I do have a setting spray to set my makeup with, but I actually just got this in PR. This is called the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. By the way, this packaging is beautiful and it's like huge and it's glass and it just looks stunning. I've never tried this before. Um, the reason why I'm using this um, before makeup is because it's a toner and a setting spray. So on the back it says that this is supposed to uh, visibly brighten, hydrate, and soften texture. It is packed with vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, amino acids, and natural acids to condition and visibly enhance the skin's radiance. Okay, so it's giving me an aggressive but fine mist. That's interesting. I can like barely feel it on my skin. It's like very, very fine. I don't think it actually has like a scent or a fragrance. Um, so I'm gonna let that kind of sit on my skin and see how it feels. So my skin feels, it actually feels pretty hydrated, but it doesn't feel like greasy or anything like that. Kind of like I just put on moisturizer. So that's actually really nice. It's giving my skin a really nice, like soft texture with a little bit of grip. It honestly just feels like I put like moisturizer on. I really, really like that actually. That feels really nice. I think I'm gonna keep this in my vanity because that just feels so nice and it doesn't feel like greasy or anything like that. To actually prime this skin, I'm gonna be using their newest primer. This is called the Butter Believe It Primer or Putty Primer. So I actually have tried this out in a couple of videos. This isn't like every other putty primer. I feel like other putty primers um, claim to like smooth out the skin and I believe this one does as well, but this one literally melts into your skin like butter. Like with a little bit of warmth of your fingers, it literally melts. I don't dislike this primer, but I do, I do think it's nice if it's what you're looking for because this to me is more of a hydrating primer. I don't necessarily think it really like hides your pores. 
It does give a little bit of smoothing, but it's definitely more on the on the hydrating side. I don't want to say greasy because I do think if you have dry skin that you might really like this, but I do think if you have oily skin or an oily T-zone, I would probably stay away from this. We are going to be using more of a matte foundation, so I actually don't mind wearing this. I just don't want you guys to get it confused thinking this is a super pore minimizing primer. Like this is more of a buttery hydrating primer that's going to add um, like a little bit of dewiness to the skin and it's going to add like a slip to the skin for foundation. Okay, so for foundation, um, we are going to be using this foundation, but I just wanted to give this a quick shout out. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I actually really enjoy this foundation. The only reason why I'm using the other one is because it's newer. If you guys never got to try this out, this foundation is beautiful. It's more of a light to medium um, coverage foundation with a natural finish and it looks like skin and it's a like the perfect everyday foundation. But if you're looking for more of a full coverage semi matte foundation, this is it. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. So this is in the shade medium. The only thing I have to say negatively about this foundation is that the shade range is not very good. If you can find your shade in this, go ahead and pick it up because I do really like the formula. In the back, it says that this is like a super like incredibly creamy texture with a natural radiant glowing complexion. And you know what? To me, this is more of a medium to full coverage. It's more of a semi-matte finish, and I think a little bit goes such a long way. I really like this foundation. I just think that it's a little odd what they claim it is because to me, this is more of like a full coverage, full glam foundation. I'm just gonna use one pump. You can see not that much product, and I'm just going to dot that all over my face. I actually don't even need this whole pump. That's how, why I really like this foundation because since a little bit goes a long way, you don't have to have such a heavy amount of product on your skin. So I really, really like that. I'm going to first like stamp it in just so that I get the most coverage possible. And then I'm gonna start buffing. I definitely wanted to use this foundation in this video uh, just because I feel like not a lot of people are talking about the foundation and I genuinely love it. It's one of my current favorites at the drugstore for a fuller coverage foundation. And then I always go in with a sponge to blend everything out. I just realized that this foundation is a little bit light for me as we can tell, but we can use some um, bronzer and make it work. So this gave me more of a medium to full coverage because I used less than a pump. Again, if you do want to use more, go right ahead, but I really like the way this looks like this. I know that I look very Caspery compared to my neck, but just look how pretty the skin looks. It looks very dewy right now because I do have this primer under. Again, this is more of a dewy hydrating primer. So I actually do like the combination of these two together. So the next three products I've never tried, so I'm very excited about it. So first, we are going to conceal. Okay, so this is called the Natural Defense Concealer SPF 30, and I do have the shade Light Medium. It is described as a lightweight, medium to full coverage concealer that blurs, protects, and perfects our exclusive complex of smooth, flawless complexion. So it does have a little cushion applicator, so I'm gonna squeeze some out. So I'm gonna add what I think would be a good amount. I know this might be a lot of concealer for some people, but we are doing a little bit more of a full glam today. By the way, this shade is pretty neutral. It's not like super yellow or peachy. Okay, so this is what the under eyes look like. It gave me more of like medium coverage, but it actually looks pretty healthy under the eyes. It's giving me like a very dewy look. Because of that, I am gonna let it sit for a minute before I set it with powder because sometimes when you have very dewy products and you add powder right away, it kind of messes up the powder. So my eyes look really, really pretty, my under eyes. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute while we keep doing more cream products and then we will see how it sets. But so far, I actually really like this. While we let this sit, I'm gonna add some cream bronzer. So this is called the Organic Wear Sculpting bronzer with jojoba oil. There is no shade name, so I believe maybe the shade name is Sculpting Bronzer. I haven't actually tried this. I've only swatched it. Instead of going into my skin, I think I'm gonna grab it from the brush because this is a pretty dark shade. I don't want to get too crazy. And ooh, this looks like it has 
a little bit of a red undertone. Um, this looks pretty, but it looks like a blush. That's so weird. Doesn't this just not look like my cheek or is it just me? Like I would use this as a blush. I am gonna go over it with my butter bronzer, but I wanted to test out this cream bronzer first. It's blending out really pretty and actually a little bit goes a long way. So that's what it looks like. Once it's blended out, it definitely doesn't look as red. If anything, I just feel like it looks rosy, not even red, just a little bit more like pinky tone. Like see how this could literally be blush? Uh, I just find that so odd. I like the formula. It's like very pigmented and it melts right in and it blended beautifully. I'm just not the biggest fan of the shade, but I do like the product itself. So next we do have a liquid blush. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the cream so before we set anything. So this is called the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. And this one is in the shade Gorgeous Peach. It is described as a lightweight, easy to blend formula that revives cheeks for a visibly smoother, plumper, freshy, dewy look. By the way, it does have a pump. So I'm assuming it's gonna be very like liquidy. It's not coming out of the pump, so maybe I got a faulty pump. So this is a very pretty like peachy orangey tone. So with the same brush, I'm just going to grab a little bit and then on the side, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I like to like blend it out before applying it to my cheeks because I've never used this blush. It's giving me a very dewy and healthy look. This is really pretty. I feel so dewy right now just because I haven't set anything, but this is actually looking really, really cute. It's not like overly pigmented, but I do think it gives a really nice look. I don't know, I usually don't tend to love super dewy blushes for some reason. I do like cream blushes, but not super, super dewy ones, but this one's actually looking really, really pretty. So to set everything, I'm gonna be using a powder that I've never used. This is called the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder SPF 16, and I did get it in the shade Translucent Light. And it comes, it comes with this like really hard sponge. I don't think I'm gonna use this because I feel like it wouldn't really do much for me. It's like very, very hard. So I'm gonna use like my regular go-to brush. I'm just gonna grab a little bit and tap off the excess. Oh wow, I feel like this is brightening. Does my skin look brighter here or here? Cause I feel like this is like brightening my under eyes. Wow, this powder actually looks really pretty. Doesn't my skin still look super, super dewy? You know, and it actually still feels dewy. It doesn't feel like super matte or dry. This powder is definitely more of like a lightweight powder. It didn't really mattify my skin, but <laughs> I don't know, my under eyes still feel tacky, so I think I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Even though I do like the way it looks on this skin. Oh crap, maybe I'm applying too much now. I do still need to set my under eyes because they will crease. I think a lot of you that have very, very dry under eyes might actually like this because it's not making my under eyes look really dry. I do have to add a lot of powder because I do need to set my under eyes but I really like the way it set my face. I do think if you have oily skin, this might not do enough for you, but if you have more dry or mature skin, you might really like this. It looks very natural, and I still look really, really dewy, which is super nice. Oh my God, I feel like this video is taking forever, but that's because we have so many products to try out. Um, really quickly, I did wanna show you guys that I am gonna be using the Butter Bronzer. I have tried the matte one, which is this one. This is the brand new one. Um, I, again, I do have a video trying out all the new Physicians Formula, but I actually didn't love this as much as I like the regular Butter Bronzer, and I also don't love the shade. This is the shade Matte Sun Kiss, and this one is the shade Deep Bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. This is one of my all-time favorite just bronzers in general. It's just such a nice bronzer, whether it's you know, high-end or drugstore, this is just a really good one. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin. I do think that my under eyes are like very stark white and that's because I applied so much of that powder under there. I definitely don't think it's meant for that. 
I'm quickly going to just finish out my under eyes. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab the really dark shade called Coco Loco. And I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line, a little bit of tight lining. And then I'm going to use the transition shade called Sand Dunes just to blow it out and make it nice and blended. And then I'm going to put on the blowout mascara on my bottom lashes. So I accidentally forgot to mention, I also added that like reddish shade on the bottom lashes. And I did a little bit of brown eyeliner just so it looked nice and smoky. So the next product we're gonna put on is some highlighter. So Physician Formula, they have a lot of highlighters that are very, very blinding. And that's just not what I'm going for nowadays. But I did find a product that I actually think is really, really beautiful. It is this. This is called the Rose All Day Set and Glow. So it does have a balm that you can add on to your cheeks. I personally think you should add this to more bare skin rather than a full glam. You can use this as a natural like dewy glow or as a base for powder. And then you can also lift that and you get this really beautiful glowy powder. Now I really like this because as you can see, it's not super, super blinding. I actually prefer more of an overall glow. I won't be using the dewy balm today just because we're looking dewy enough. By the way, it does come with a brush and a mirror under everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this right here. Um, you guys will see how it just adds more of a natural glow. And that's just kind of what I like going for nowadays. See how it's just adding, more than anything, it's adding luminosity. It's not adding a bunch of highlight. It's just a little bit of glowy powder that adds a little bit of glow. It makes you gleamy. This could actually just be a setting powder for those of you that like very glowy setting powders. I just, I prefer a matte setting powder and like a glowy light powder, but see how pretty that looks? It just looks very natural. So I actually really, really like this. So um, all we have left is setting spray and lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take this diamond lip gloss off. I will say, even though they don't have eyeliners, I have been enjoying their Physicians Formula little sharpener. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen a lip pencil. I think I'm gonna use ColourPop in the shade Avi, but I do need to sharpen it. You could obviously also wear the lip gloss on top of your lipstick, but I'm gonna show you guys today what this looks like on its own. So this is called the Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. And this one is in the shade First Kiss. You can see by how dirty it is. I've obviously already used it. Let me apply it and show you guys how pretty this shade is. This is a very creamy formula, but it has more of a velvet finish. So it gives you almost like that matte finish, but it's very, very like hydrating. Um, I do think that our eyes are more reddish than pinky. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red. I'm gonna add a little bit of this red lipstick. It's called the Nourishing Lipstick. I'm just gonna literally touch it because it's very pigmented and I'm just gonna add a little bit to deepen it out. So moving on to set the face. Again, I told you guys I do have another setting spray and it is this one. This is the Butter Believe It Skin Mist. This actually smells just like the Butter Bronzer. So if you like that smell, you're gonna like this. And this is just a hydrating setting spray. It's not gonna add glitter or anything like that. It's just gonna hydrate the skin and set the makeup. All right guys, so this is the final result. I actually love the way it looks. I just feel like I look a little bit on the greasy side. Um, so if you do have drier skin, you're probably gonna love the combination of all these products. But overall, I am pretty impressed. I actually really enjoyed most of these products. There wasn't really any fails if you think about it. So it went really, really well. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other full phase of you guys would like to see. I do have a whole playlist. I've done this video so many times with different brands, so I can link the playlist down below and up here if you guys are interested. So hope that you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very, very much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.